Welcome back Guardians and in this video we're going to look at everything you could possibly need to know to do well and rank up in your own banner. So one of the most important things you need to remember to do is if you have it from a previous own banner make sure you're wearing the class item, the shader and the title or emblem whichever you prefer to call it. This will greatly boost your reputation gains. Each one of them is a 10% boost and that will help you rank up faster when completing bounties or anything else which gives you the ability to gain reputation. Now, the first one of these items can be bought at rank 1, the shader at rank 2, and unfortunately the class item is rank 4. Once you have these, you can use them in any iron banner and they will help you rank up a lot quicker. The second thing is bounties. Now, some people look at these bounties and think, I'm not going to take that out, I can't do it, but I urge you, take them all out. A lot of them will be gotten just naturally through playing, log earning 10,000 XP. Defeat 10 Guardians without dying, you'd be surprised how many people will get this, it's not too hard. Defeat 20 Guardians with primary weapon headshots, this will again come naturally whilst playing. This one here, a little bit harder it may be for some, earn 5 headshot sprees. And the last one, you'll have to equip your heavy weapon, but it is worth it for the amount of XP you gain. Now, I should also mention, please always use the tempering buff. It gains extra XP, and as the Iron Banner goes on, becomes more effective. So let's demonstrate how the XP gain works by showing it on screen. I have all class items equipped, I have the tempered buff purchased, and we have two bounties worth 100 each. So let's turn them in. You have proved and that goes up to 306 so you're gaining a lot of extra reputation now the purpose of getting a high iron banner rank is so that you unlock the ability to purchase weapons and armor from the iron banner vendor and if the weapons don't at first appear to be something you might want don't worry as you can re-roll them reforge them and change them and get a different set of perks there is also the armor, two different sets with enough lights to take you to level 32. So if you want, you have a change from your raid gear. Now, as I mentioned, you can reforge your weapons as long as you have the Iron Banner weapon equipped. And this is my current Iron Banner heavy machine gun. There's a lot of perks that I do like on it, but crowd control. But the clip is just a bit too small for me. So I'm going to re-roll it and hopefully get field scout. And it will cost you two motes of light each time. That's important to bear in mind if you're short on motes. So the damage has changed from solar to void. And we have gotten field scout. So that's a positive there. We've got what I wanted. But I'm not too keen on the other perks. Reactive reload. I'm not really going to be planning on reloading after kills with a heavy machine gun. I want to move on to the next one. So that is the danger of it. But I got what I wanted. So that will do. When you win a game of the Iron Banner, your reputation and faction earnings will pop up on screen for Iron Banner and whatever faction you're in. But if you lose, then you'll be rewarded with a medallion of iron. You can carry five of these at any one time, and when you win, the medallions are cashed in for reputation. And I believe each medallion is worth 80% of one win. So here are a few basic tips for Crucible in general, which will help you in the Iron Banner. And the biggest one of all is watch your radar. Don't saw nothing on the radar nice. until I walked around the corner and then it popped up red in the top left hand side and I knew where to aim. Here I kill this character, nothing on the radar so I know I'm free to Anyone run at speed, there's nothing the to worry about bar someone crouching possibly which takes you off of the radar but now I'm picking Don't someone leave. up on the radar so I follow it and get him here and I can see another to the right drop down, teammate gets him it keeps you on the move, it's safe one to the left, teammate gets him again. So as you can see, very, very important to watch the radar. Although my teammates got those kills, there was nothing that means I wouldn't get those kills in future by following my radar. Now, a few more quick things about the Iron Banner before we end this video. And that is that in this current Iron Banner, as well as the weapons you can purchase, after rank three, more weapons will drop for you. And the weapons that are drop are the weapons from previous Iron Banner, Galeon's Demise and Fell Winter's Lie, the shotgun I'm using right now. So as you can see this is a good shotgun, six bullets, six kills and 
you want to try and get your hands on this weapon. A neutralized. There's currently a legendary weapon review of Galeon's Demise, the okay, legendary neutralized. scout rifle. On my YouTube channel, I will put a link to that video in the description, and I will also try and bring out a review of Fell Winter's Light if I can get another one dropped to re-roll. If you enjoy watching daily Destiny videos, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. It really motivates me. And as always, thank you for watching.